it's Miss Emily and Jonah. <laughs> Welcome to Kids Connect Bible Stories for Preschoolers. Our goal is to help your kids connect to their Savior Jesus as we gather each week around God's Word. Hey Jonah, what are you playing with? The ark. Do you know what was so special about the ark? No. Well, a long time ago, people were so naughty that God decided to destroy everything with a flood. But he had promised to send his son Jesus to save us, so he couldn't destroy everything. He saved Noah and his family so that they would live, and years and years and years later, their great 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 grandson would be born in a manger and die on a cross and rise again to life to save me and you and the whole world. So God saved Noah and his family inside the ark so that he could keep his promise to his people. When God told Noah to build that gigantic boat, Noah listened and did exactly what God said and loaded it up with all the animals so that they could survive the flood. Today we're going to open the Bible to Genesis chapter 6 through 9 to learn the story safe in the boat. Let's pray. Can you pray with us? Dear God, as I hear the words you say, bless my life in every way. Amen. We're going to read from the Rhyme Bible Storybook. Safe in the Boat God was very, very sad, for all the people were so bad. They would cheat and they would lie. They would make their sisters cry. They would kick and steal and fight, though they knew it wasn't right. Noah was the only one who was pleasing in God's sight. God told Noah, build a boat, make it strong so it will float. Make it tall and make it wide and put a lot of rooms inside. So Noah's family built the boat. They made it strong so it would float. But all the people laughed and said, they are loony in the head. Where's the water? Where's the sea? They're as crazy as can be. God brought animals two by two. They skipped and crawled and hopped and flew and squeaked and barked and chirped and mooed. The boat would be a floating zoo. God commanded, let it rain. And so it rained on hill and plain. Lightning flashed and thunder roared. It sprinkled, showered, rained, and poured. The water got deep. It covered the ground. But those in the boat stayed safe and sound. Days and weeks and months went by before the ground was finally dry. But then God said, it's time to come out. So out they came with a roar and a shout. And what did they see when they looked up high? A shining rainbow in the sky. Sin destroys, but God saves. The flood destroyed naughty people, but God saved Noah and his family and the animals. God promised never to destroy the earth again in a flood. He put the first rainbow in the sky to remind us of that promise. Later this week, something you can go and do, or later today, is an activity with a rainbow. You can draw a picture, you can use sidewalk chalk, you can use some craft supplies to create a rainbow. You can even play with your blocks and line them up as a rainbow and remind yourself of God's promise to save us. This song about the arky arky has a lot of repetition. Join in with the actions and the words when you're ready. The Lord told Noah there's gonna be a floody, floody Lord told Noah there's gonna be a floody, floody Get those animals out of the mighty, mighty children of the Lord. The Lord told Noah to build him an arky, arky Lord told Noah to build him an arky, arky Build it out of gopher barky barky children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise.
rise, shine, and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine, and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. The animals, the animals, they came in by twosies, twosies, animals, the animals, they came in by twosies, twosies, elephants and kangaroosies, roosies, children of the Lord. It rained and poured for forty long daisies, daisies, rained and poured for forty long daisies, daisies, almost drove those animals crazy, crazy, children of the Lord. children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. Let's pray. Dear God, I am a sinner, just like Noah and all the people at the time of the flood. Please forgive my sins for Jesus' sake. Thank you for saving Noah and for sending Jesus to save me and all believers. Amen. Thanks for watching. I hope you can join us next week, Tuesday at 10, for another episode of Kids Connect. Goodbye! If you're interested in devotions for older kids or adults or want to watch next week's Kids Connect, like us on Facebook or connect with us on Instagram, YouTube, or our website at wellsredeemer.org. God bless and keep you this week. You are loved.